Sexual harassment. Sexual harassment comes in many forms and not just a single one. It includes when someone tries to touch and make other physical contacts with you or without your consent. Further, it also includes passing comments which have a sexual meaning. After that, it is also when someone asks you for sexual favors. Leering and staring continuously also counts as one. You are being sexually harassed when the perpetrator displays rude and offensive material so that others can see it. Another form is making sexual gestures towards you and cracking sexual jokes or comments towards you. It is also not acceptable for someone to question you about your sexual life or insult you with sexual comments. Further, making an obscene phone call or indecently exposing oneself also counts as sexual harassment. Sexual harassment can impact a person severely. It may stress out the victim and they may suffer from anxiety or depression. Moreover, it can also cause them to withdraw from social situations. After that, the victim also starts to lose confidence and self-esteem. There may also be physical symptoms like headaches, sleep problems, and being not able to concentrate or be productive. No one in this world deserves to go through sexual harassment, whether man or woman. We all have the rights to live freely without being harassed and bullied against. It is the reason why sexual harassment is illegal. To begin with, the person may try talking to the offender and convey their message regarding their unwanted behavior. Further, it is also essential to stay informed about this issue. Make sure to learn about the policies and procedures regarding sexual harassment in your workplace, school or university. Further, try to document everything to help you remember the name of the offenders and the incidents. Similarly, make sure to save any evidence you get which will help with your complaint. Most importantly, always try to get external information and advice from people who will help you if you decide to file a lawsuit. Likewise, never deal with it on your own and share it with someone you trust to lighten your load. To conclude, sexual harassment is a very real issue that went unnoticed for a long period of time, but not anymore. It is essential for all of us to take measures to prevent it from happening as it damages the life of the victim severely. Thus, make sure you help out those who are suffering from sexual harassment and make the perpetrator accountable. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe our channel, English Essay for Listening, for more essays.